Hey guys, what's happening? Just thought I'd do a little uh, Q&A and a bit of a video just like talking you guys through my year. Um, a lot of people have been asking me like what I changed and what I did differently and how like I felt it went and I sort of do a video and then kind of explain everything all at once. So kind of explain the year, kind of go back to uh, the end of last year. I was kind of, I was honestly coming off pretty, pretty sh year. I um, had a few all right results, had the, had the second at Mont Saint, Anne, Mont Saint Anne, but that was pretty much just rain affected. I think I would have been probably in the top 10 there, but still besides that, there was nothing great. And I remember very clearly I, uh, I sat down with uh, Bernat Guardia and Jen Gabrielli, the, who owns and runs Intense. I remember sitting down with them um, at Cairns and asking them kind of like what my position on the team looked like next year. And I remember them just both pretty much saying they're not sure and didn't really have an answer for me. That kind of stuck with me in the uh, for, for that, that race and it was always in the back of my mind. Ended up doing pretty well there, got 12th and I think with the second and then I was riding good the last round and then to get the 12th was enough to keep me on the team but it was definitely a, a big wake up call to kind of like do I want to keep doing this professionally and do I want to actually do well in the next year so pretty much straight after that I kind of started training again with uh, Joel Pinozzo from Evolution Sports and Fitness so I did that and then just kind of more routine I guess like more structured with everything and um, I don't know just honestly made it more of like did it more professionally didn't just kind of do it as a hobby did it like made it into a proper job and it started like as the year started I felt I felt really strong and I remember going to uh, national champs in Bright at the start of the year and just feeling really good on the bike, feeling real strong. And I just kind of remember going there and in practice, I was like, like, I don't know, just everything was kind of clicking and I felt really good. And then I qualified first and it kind of, a light switch flicked in my head because obviously Troy and Connor and Jack were all there. And I think from the year before, I kind of like put them up on a bit of a pedestal and kind of, you don't think you're at the same level as they are. And then if you kind of, once you beat them and realize you are there, it's kind of a switch flicks in your head. And then I kind of went to the point where it's like, I've been doing all the work, I've been training really hard and I can't actually do this. Unfortunately, I crashed my race run there, but I, I knew I had the uh, I had the speed to be right with those boys. So I definitely left a bit annoyed, but also with a lot of confidence that I can hang with those guys. Not long after that, obviously the first World Cup came along and went into there with kind of like quietly confident, knew that I was probably the fittest and strongest I've been in a long time and definitely came in more, more prepared than I did the year before. I was that kind of, um, that, that paid off in qualifying, I ended up qualifying second, which was, I guess, a shock to most people. It was a little bit of a shock to me, but at the same time, I knew after all the work and stuff I put in that I knew I could be there. So I was quite happy with that. And then with the new rule, I ended up getting put last. So that was a bit of a shock to the system. And I remember the night before I realized that and found out and was super nervous. Like I remember I couldn't really sleep and was stressing out about it, but I think I dealt with it pretty well for someone going last. Like I know a lot of people kind of blow up their first time they do something like that. So. I was happy. I think I almost backed it off a little bit too, just to just to be safe. I know at Bright when I qualified first there, I kind of went balls to the wall and was like, I've got to do this, I've got to win and blew up and crashed. So I think I kind of tamed it down a little bit and got third, which I was I was over the moon with. But at the same time, I was like, yeah, I could have actually, actually won it. After that, um, come home, got some more solid training in, felt really strong, really fit, ready to go. And then went to the second round at um, Fort William. And then obviously that's where the kind of the season all took a big turn and I actually had a crash doing probably I reckon like 60, 70 Ks and knocked myself out for around two minutes and kind of just reset everything. I was After that I um, I really badly wanted to race but obviously it wasn't the smartest decision. Doctors didn't give me the all clear so it was a no go but it wasn't just the, the fact of the concussion, it was just the confidence kind of went right right down the drain. Like I remember the, the week later when we were in Leo Gang, and <laughs> first day of practice I thought I was going fast and. Then a guy with gardening gloves with 144 plate <laughs> caught me in practice and yelled right and I was like going real slow. So that was pretty annoying. And then just from there, just my, I was just bummed. I was just, my confidence was down. I didn't really feel like I was going anywhere near fast enough, which I wasn't. And I remember I was still getting headaches and I was quite tired for the like next coming week. So I kind of got through that weekend and got some points. I think I got 26 or something, which compared to the first round was nowhere where I wanted to be. But I guess from the injury before, it was kind of like that's what I don't know, people, people, people like came up to me afterwards and they were quite like impressed that I even rode, so I was kind of happy that I did suit up and did do it, but obviously nowhere where I needed to be, and then ended up flying home straight after that and try to rest at home for a little bit and have some, I guess it was more just like recovering, I didn't really ride that much, I tried to rest as much as I could and didn't really want to hit my head anymore, so 
was resting for a while and went back over for Val de Sol and Andorra and was just st still not racing um, how I knew I could. Like I remember after my race runs at both those events, like being feeling real nauseous and just like dizzy and just not attacking or anything, just kind of felt like I was in cruise control and just just annoying just being in like a, coming in so strong and then being so far back and just with the confidence thing, just like I was, I think I had such a big part in the sport and I just had just honestly nothing and just was kind of just nervous about crashing and doing it again and it kind of just kept going backwards and backwards so we had those events and then we went home for a bit more and then had St Anne and that's kind of, we had a, a solid break after um, Andorra so we had that break and then we came back for Mont St Anne and definitely felt like more more back to myself when we got a 10th and that kind of I guess started rebooting the confidence a little bit and realised I was kind of getting back to normal. I didn't feel like any, any nausea or um, anything that bad after my race there. So I was like kind of like, okay, we're getting back to normal, which is good. So we had that and then went to France not long after and felt like I was kind of back up to speed where I need to be. Unfortunately, had a little had a little crash there that bummed me out, but I was right there at the split. So I was kind of like, okay, we're getting back into it. This is good. And then went to world champs the week or two weeks after that and then honestly felt like myself again it felt like a, a peak back at the start and the end of the season um, but yeah I felt solid there all week and I felt like I had a good race run besides two little mistakes where it, I think took a little bit of time off but just the fact that I finished kind of feeling as good as I did at the start just like mentally and with my confidence was I think a good thing going into the break so I feel like next year is going to be really good and I just kind of need to redo what I did before before the accident and then I feel like I can be right there. I think that's just a big thing with like where your confidence is and just kind of the fact that I know if I do put in the work and do really knuckle down and be serious about it that I can be right there and I feel like now that I've done that if I can just do that again I can just be back there again so that's what I'll be aiming for next year.